Hi everybody, welcome to this tutorial. This is Randolph DiMolanta and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, generate quick custom home pages from existing home pages. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that you got to do is you got to take a snapshot of a website that you like. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to a website of one of these multi-billion dollar companies and you're going to take a snapshot of their home page. So um, let me go turn this layer off right here. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how we made this website. Uh, here or this home page for Madonna. I'm going to go over here in Photoshop. I'm going to turn off this layer so you can see the website uh, home page that we uh, that we took a snapshot of. So in this one right here, we went to the Mini Cooper site. Um, um, I think I have another one right here. Let's go to uh, check this one out right here. We also have one from Jaguar site. All right. So um, to do that on the Mac, you just press Shift Apple Four. Or press uh, on the, or if you're on the pre PC, you're gonna press um, the print screen button, and I think that's um, if it was numbered, it would be F13 on your keyboard. All right. So when I do this um, tutorial, um, I'm gonna say Apple, and then I'm gonna tell you the hotkey because I like working with hotkeys. But when I say Apple, if you're on a PC, you just know that you gotta press Control. All right, because it gets kind of confusing. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this, and so here we have the uh, Mini Cooper site right here. And the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we need to um, establish and put our rulers there, all right, so we can grab our guides. So I'm going to press Apple R to pull up our rulers. And I'm going to hover over the rulers and I'm going to right click and I'm going to be sure that it's under pixels, that we choose pixels, okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the ruler and I'm going to drag the guide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guides so that they outline the main image alright so you're gonna do that for the main image just like I've done right here alright I was kinda working on this earlier so I have guides already in place but you know look at what I'm doing right there I just grab that guide and I put guides around the main image I also put a guide right here under um, the main navigation I'm following this little uh, drop down box right here that's on the Mini Cooper site and I'm putting a um, a guide right there and I also put guides right down here uh, for the navigation right underneath and I put that guide right there at the top of the letters okay so um, and I put it there because I'm noticing that the, the space between the gray line right over here and the text is even with this uh, space right here so you know now we see the alignment um, in this design so now we can actually go ahead and get to work let's go ahead and open up that um, Madonna picture I'm gonna go to file open and let's go ahead and grab the let's grab both pictures let's grab her picture let's also grab her logo Madonna is like freaking awesome we love you that girl she just keeps going and going and going she's like gets younger every time I see her man her legs and arms are like so buffed okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press Apple a to select this image and I'm gonna press Apple C to copy it so for if you're on a PC you're gonna press control C you're gonna select that main image and we'll deal with that logo in a little bit and I'm gonna select my um, I'm gonna go back to my Photoshop file I'm gonna grab the selection tool now check this out this is a very important design tool that uh, I totally swear by is I'm gonna grab my selection tool and I'm going to select my main image and because we put our guides there it automatically locks to that image area Okay, now here's the most important uh, tool of all right here. If you press Shift Apple V, oh, let's go make a new layer. <laughs> let's make a new layer first. Let's try that again. Shift Apple V. There we go. When you press, when you make a new layer and press Shift Apple V, what happens is that selection area becomes a mask. All right, so then you pasted that image into that mask area, and then you can use. Uh, you can move your picture around inside the mask to um, establish your composition. Is that cool? That is so important right there. Okay, so I like that right there. Let's go position her eyes right there. Not directly center. We want to raise her eyes just a little bit so that they're a third of the way, a third of the way down. Alright, cool. So that is, that is so key. And if you look here in the layers palette, you'll see that there's the mask and you'll see the picture underneath. If you want to move both around, if you like this composition right here, you go ahead and 
um, click this little area right here you'll see like this little chain and then those things are connected so now you can move things around I'm gonna press Apple's, Apple Z to uh, go back and I'm gonna disconnect that chain I kind of like that so now let's go put the logo there I'm gonna do the same thing uh, Apple A to select all Apple C to copy and then um, I don't really need to paste it in um, a mask right here. I'm just going to paste it right into the document. I'm going to press Apple V. We're going to click OK right here. And there goes the logo. And I'm going to replace, replace that mini logo, mini Cooper logo, with my logo. Or with Madonna's logo. Okay. I'm, just gonna, I'm pressing Shift. Oh, I pressed Apple T, by the way, for free transform. And I'm pressing Shift. And I'm grabbing the handle that's on the corner right here to kind of constrain the, uh, the free transform. And I'm going to go ahead and align it. And where am I going to put this logo? Well, gosh dang it, since we're using a grid, see that intersection right there? I'm going to put those letters. I'm going to put that letter M right there at that intersection. All right? So we have a natural, we have some logic, and we have some alignment. We have form. Everything looks great. That looks really right you guys that's pretty much it right there I'm gonna press Apple colon uh, to toggle the the grid that we put all right so you can see what the design is looking like okay and so the next step for you would be to um, change out the navigation here with your own so um, you know try to you know that's gonna be another lecture by the way so um, you guys can get better at that too but uh, try to um, uh, pick a don't pick a crazy typeface try to get something similar try to match the proportions that uh, that the uh, mini Cooper guys were using for their uh, for their typefaces um, with their with their picture and then uh, you should be all right you guys that's it that's easy and usually um, uh, what I recommend to students is that uh, you know quantity is everything in this exercise try to establish three to five designs and then so you'll have more to choose from when it comes down to creating a uh, homepage for yourself that's attractive and that that impresses people in a short amount of time all right hey hopefully this uh, tutorial helped you out um, let me know if you have any questions um, keep an eye for other video tutorials for me um, and come visit me at www.randolphdemolanta.com I'll see you guys later thanks a lot